sis what's up welcome back to my channel and if you are new here welcome i'm so happy you clicked on today's video and i hope you'll stay a while and watch a couple more but today we're going to be doing a review on this wig that i have on right here right now this beautiful curly bob it is very simple and very easy and it's affordable so if you want to know all of the specs and all of the deets just keep on watching <laughs> Okay, hi girls. So this is what the wig looks like after it has been co-washed. I used a dimming brush so you see the ends got like the little ringlets going on. Um, but yeah, this wig comes with two combs on the side and I cut the combs out um, because it was kind of snagging on my hair. So if you order this wig, I suggest you cut the combs out. You don't really need them. It has an elastic band. So you don't really need it um and this is what the inside of the wig looks like it has the 1.5 by 4 inch parting um it has a comb in the back as well as adjustable straps and an elastic band the elastic band is not adjustable as you can see but it has an elastic band and the wig fits nice and snug um if you have a bigger size head i will probably pass on this one um, but yeah, this is what the part looks like. It comes looking really good. It looks really natural. And it doesn't really require you to do much of anything. That's why I say this wig is very much so beginner friendly. Um, now I'm just going to try the wig on. And I needed to like um, spray it down because I let the wig dry upside down. Like I hung it by its elastic band upside down. So that's the way it dried. Um, so I had to go in with some water just to kind of like get it back together um, But yeah, I was showing you in the previous clip just what the part looks like without doing anything to it and it looks really good um, But yeah, like I said just trying to get the hair back flat and just looking nice because I Hung it upside down and let it dry like that. So don't do that um, But yeah, then I'm just cutting off any kind of like pieces that are slightly longer um, because like I said I did use the dimming brush which altered the curl pattern now I'm just cutting the lace off and then I'm going to add just a teeny bit of eyeshadow um, and then go over top with just a little bit of powder just to kind of like blend it out um, but yeah like as you can see before I even did that the part looked really good um, and I like to use like kind of like a white ish eyeshadow and then go over top with like my face color powder and blend it out and yeah as you can see like the wig looks so cute I love the curl on this so pretty and then in the next clip I want to just show you how the wig looks like how it comes that's the like curl pattern that um the wig comes in so if you want it to stay like that which is more elongated then all you have to do is just not use a dimming brush when you're washing it and it will um keep that curl pattern but now i just wanted to show you a little bit of the side and a little bit of the back and it's just so soft and beautiful Okay, so with this wig, with this type of a wig, like with the construction and everything, there is really not much styling to do. Like if you want, when you get the wig, you can cut it in a, like, you know, little ways to customize it to your liking. Um, but for the most part, like this wig does not require much styling or much to apply it. It is a set side part, so... Like I said, there's not much styling to do. When I am like doing a co-wash process or washing a wig or even like adding a little bit of water to like spruce up the curl, I always use a dimming brush and it really does change the whole curl pattern like it just does um and as you've seen like i added a clip of like what the wig looks like and it's like you know like how it comes and like in its natural state if you don't use any kind of like brushes or anything and you just use your fingers you can get it to go like stay the way it looks when you first take it out the package or if you want to do like me like i used a dimming brush and i like you know i brushed it with a dimming brush and really 
changing and playing around with the curl pattern I like both i like how it comes and i like like how it looks when using a denim brush it really makes it like more of kind of like a ringlet a little bit yeah i think it's really cute really grown really sexy this is very much so like i said an easy wig very beginner friendly it doesn't have a lot of lace but you still get the look of like having like remember y'all remember like um me saying that i don't like lace part wigs like the synthetic ones because it's too like humpy at the start and it doesn't lay flat like this is basically like a human lace part wig and it lays nice and flat and you don't have to worry about it looking clocky like it looks like you have more part in space than you do and the part is pretty good as is like i didn't really have to do much of anything to it as far as like plucking y'all know i love me a simple everyday wig like that is my favorite type of a wig like a simple everyday wig that i could throw on when going to work and i don't have to do a lot to it it kind of maintains itself and this is that wig this wig is really good quality it is very affordable and it's beginner friendly so it's kind of like a killer trio but yeah y'all that's pretty much it like very quick very simple very easy like we're slaying the day without the time consumption and i'm here for it by the way the jewelry and the lashes all from the luxe collection links are in the description box as always if you're interested in this wig i will leave the direct link down in the description box for you to check it out give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it drop that in the comments and let me know what you thought of the wig and of the video and don't forget to subscribe if you are not already and i'll catch you in the next one peace and blessings